Hey guys, welcome back to Reverse Engineer. I'm Daniel. Today, we're gonna start disassembling this 2018 Ford Focus ST and uh, inspect the damage. Stay tuned and find out what's next. Before we start any work, we're gonna inspect the damages. Show you guys one last time before we start taking parts off. On this side, it looks like the car took one, most of the damage. The apron is moved down. The fuse box has a bunch of fuses broken. We're gonna have to replace many of those. The frame rail on the driver's side is a little bit tilted to the passenger side. The passenger side rail looks a little bit more than the, the driver. Towards the passenger side too. Now here, right, right under, right under the hood, you already see that uh, right here, this AC condenser. They're all look, they look, they both look like a sandwich. Oh, so that looks like a toast. That needs to be changed up. Yeah. The core support is all gone. Even this um, reinforcement needs to be changed because. Uh, since the car was hit on this side, this frame was pushed that way, and then with this, with the reinforcement, that uh, that other frame uh, was pushed over as well. Engine and cover is busted. And as far as the engine, here we go. Need to replace the intake manifold as well. That seems that that's the only thing broken on the vehicle in the intake manifold. For now, on the engine oh, side. this thing looks toast too. That thing got canned. <laughs> filter, yeah. There's a few parts here and there that we can, uh, we will save, but of course not all of them. Um, and if you take a look at this uh, fuse box, you already see that it's all toast. It needs to be changed up. That's like ground. And the ground wire. is cut. I think they cut it, so like we're not. So whoever buys it will not start it up. Because that would be that would probably start the car on fire. You never know what can happen. Uh, so and the guys from the auction, I believe they uh, strapped this one down so it won't like fall on the ground. The insurance guys. Yeah. Looks like the fender took some major hits too. The door indentation on the fender from people opening the door too much. They opened it too hard and made a dent. How are the wheels on this thing, Daniel? The wheels are in spectacular condition, actually. Not a single dent or scratch on the rim itself. How the tire it? has plenty of meat left on it. So thick too. I didn't expect for the STs to have. Yeah, it only has 15,000 miles. How about the windshield? Oh wow. The windshield right here. Like that might have been uh kind of looks like it took a big rock or something no from this yeah, from the hood the corner of the hood maybe when you when you got into the accident it looks like the hood opened up and it's like has hole in that right there the corner, there. The corner of the hood yeah. how's the back of the car the back looks in pretty good condition as well some scratches from people removing the Logoing from the company who had it oh, sold also, it on their lot. And also this is cracked right here, so we have to replace this as well. well. That's why it was uh, fogging up. Yeah, looks like they had some uh, bit of a mods installed on them, which is this right here. Yeah, mud flaps. And uh, as far as the inside, driver airbag, the curtain airbag, the knee airbag are, are blown up. Even the, the seat airbag. Let's see it. They will need to be changed uh -huh. right there. And we're also missing the shift knob. It's yep. right here. Someone took that. Well, let me open this door and check it out. Oh man, it's full of parts. We have some parts from the trunk. The Sorry. bumper looks like it's all crumbled up and put in there. Take them out. See here, I'm gonna take them out. That, 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 I think yeah. that's for the trunk. Here, hold this. Yeah, we've got the bumper. Uh, it's all mangled, yeah, so. Okay. Even that's as gonna messed be... up as a part looks, when you get a car, you never want to throw anything away. You could have a, from anything from a clip to a wire. 
even a bulb sometimes you can't find. In this case, we have the fog light on here. The other side looks like it's missing. We have to we buy do have bolts here. We have to buy one fog light. This is the thing for the hood liner. It's a little bit damaged. And then we have the hood props there. That's Looks like we got the floor mats inside and this hood support that helps it stay up. And that's pretty empty. It's pretty clean, smells really clean. Looks amazing on the inside. Nothing too much to clean. Not too much damage inside though. Just the airbags. This is the passenger side of the vehicle. It's in pretty good shape. The seats are folded down, I think, because of the parts that were inside, like the front bumper, those crumbled up. There's the ST badge. It's good that the seats are not blown. Although mm. the passenger well, side, side looks pretty good. The I don't think it's blown. The passenger side is not blown, yeah. Yeah, only the pass the driver Dr side, the seat belt's blown. What about the seat? Is it blown too? Yeah, it's blown. Yeah, it's blown. So we're gonna have to get that fixed. Alright, let's move on. And to my surprise, this fender is in pretty good condition. Did not take too much hit, too much damage on it. As um, you can see right here, it has a ding and uh, bent a little bit on that side but nothing much to it that can easily be fixed put some bondo in wrap hood that's a small hint what we're gonna do with this car they're telling us to wrap the hood but we're gonna wrap the whole thing stay tuned for that wink wink we have finished inspecting the vehicle and let's get started removing parts <laughs> I think this hood latch was pretty much stuck between this. If you turn it around, you can't see it now, but like it was holding onto this. Whenever you're moving uh, impact sensors, make sure we have to use uh, like a regular wrench, not a impact gun because uh, the vibration can uh, mess it up inside. To make the bench go off, especially if you don't unplug the sockets. What are you removing here? Taking a screw off the last screw so I can remove this mud flap. Take the finger off. How does the mud flap work? Oh, this looks busted. 
a piece of crack. Fender it's just a fender liner. And this the one flat, flat is okay. Some bolts at the bottom, or yeah, I removed those. One over here, so the two on the bottom was pretty bent up. I'll do the frame look over here. Over here, upper side looks fine. The bottom, this seems a little bit bent upward, but it can be easily bent down. Overall, this is like needs to be straightened out, and it's gonna be good. this thing looks like I have another clamp here and then I'm gonna use a hose clamp on that because it's easier to get to it I'll right, just stick it on there and I'll screws this thing yeah this one come out oh, I think there's uh, the lock nut that was welded onto the frame or whatever. Yeah, I think it, it broke. Loose. It's finally out. The lock nut that was inside Oops. here broke off from the accident. This one you see here is still intact. This one is somewhere inside. I have to figure out a way how to do it. I found the modules from the cooling fan. It seems like it's pretty much beaten up. You have to replace it. Cowboy. The intercooler looks like it's okay. It's a keeper. It's a keeper. It's a little bit dent well, on that side. Nice. There's some dent in the back too. It looks okay. But it looks okay. Let me see. Oh, right here. We'll test it for leaks anyway. But for now, it looks like it's a keeper. All this is from the coolant, from this hose right here, that we removed from the radiator. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's try to get this out. Yeah, you want to help me? Easy, you got the other side coming up. It's out. Here, come here. That first. Oh, I forgot about that one. Some kind of sensor. The airflow on that. Give me that screwdriver.
Oh. Oh, wow. Things busted. <laughs> the intake manifold is... Throttle body delete. <laughs> right there. Look at this. All the wires. Some of them uh, are broken off, like this one, these two. Uh, but uh, they're in fairly good condition, honestly. More than I thought. Yeah. All you have to do is replace this guy. Make sure everything goes in the right uh, spot over there. Color by color. Then yeah, we should be good. The battery, though. Uh -huh. Look at that. Fender is out. Let's remove this fiber the way. What's that? Some sort of pump or yeah, some sort of uh, solenoid. from the battery support. It's a little bit mangled. We have to replace it with a new one. This goes in the trash pile. Pretty good. Like I said, no damages on the ECU. Let's watch the let's see the front side. So do you like to see in here? Everything is good. It looks pretty good because it was the, in this uh, casing. So it was it protected it from the damage from the accident from the crash. Well then I can remove this. It has some kind of a safety thing over there. Finally removed all the broken parts of this vehicle. As you can see, it did, it did have some uh, hidden damage. This brake booster pump, it was like bent in from the battery. It was like pushed all the way in from the accident. There's some broken wires, for, like cut off. This uh, bracket for the windshield wiper was also busted. You can still see some part of it over here. We need to get that. Frame the rails. engine mount, yeah, frame rails are also bent, as we saw before. The engine mount on the passenger side is busted up. We need to get one a new one of those, aluminum. This cover over here on the engine, a little one, also busted through. And where the throttle also is, and this uh, intake manifold. Intake manifold, yeah. 
We need to last off. As you can see, it's all messed up. And then this we gotta fix up. There's no damage on this door. It's just pretty fine. The other door is bent a little bit from the fender. And who opened the door? Like it touched the fender and they bent it. Yeah, there's a crease right here. Maybe there's something wrong with this wheel too. Because when you strain it out, it's a little bit tilted, I believe. And that with the radiator is gone, AC condenser, cooling fan, all those gotta be replaced. And we gotta fix up all the wires as well. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below what type of mods would you like to see on this car in the future. You can also follow us on Instagram at reverseengineered1. See you next time.